channel on your boy Trucker B. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications so you'll be notified next time we upload a video. We finna get out, man, start the video. We finna get out and check the truck, man. Make sure ain't nobody hit it. Expect it for damages. And oh yeah, I'm parked beside a clean ass Kenworth. But well, let's get to it. Oh yeah. Bad ass Kenworth. He ain't he ain't messing with the hope now. He ain't messing with the hope, but he he clean though. He got the super. I got the super singles. He got what the truck is called the real trucking tires. So y'all see the rear end on both of them. Like she said, nice. But I'm saying nice. I think I got him though. I don't know. We gotta check out the front of this truck. See how the front look. He nice, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm Kenworth, man. I love him. That'll be my dream truck, Kenworth. But yeah, man. We're gonna do a walk around and check this lock, man, before I hop back up in the truck, man. Oh yeah, that white box. That's my that's my Wi-Fi box. So y'all gotta screw that box. That's why I said it. At. I found it. It's the most. I don't know. It's just the best place for it. Okay, everything's secure. So yeah, we're gonna hop back in here, man. We're gonna get to the video, man. See y'all in a minute. Yo, so, welcome back to the channel. Your boy, Trucker B. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications so you'll be notified next time I upload a video. So today, man, I ain't got nothing going on. Just vlogging today, man. Pretty much just freestyling. You know, it's been a good week, man. I can't even lie. Like, my appointment was for, well, my appointment, when I originally took this load, didn't have an appointment. So, you know, I had I went ahead and took the load anyway. So they, they scheduled my appointment for a 200 some mile load I picked up. They scheduled all the way for tomorrow night at like 20, 2001. And I was like, so I got in contact with the, the fleet manager that's in for the day because mine is off. And he was like, and you know, I explained to him, I was like, man, hey man, you know, that's gonna kill my week, man. You know, that's gonna kill my whole Monday. I'm gonna be able to load up until Tuesday. Like, and all I'm doing is just, I'm gonna be just sitting there waiting to drop a load. And he looked and he was like, yeah, man, I don't blame you, man. Let me get with them and see can I get a change. So, he got my appointment pushed for, for um 12.01 midnight tonight. So, you know, I'll be able to pull up 11.01 since a Walmart load. So, I'm thankful for that, man. So, you know, it been a blessing, man. Like, like I say, man, I ain't got too many complaints this week, man. I've been, it been making money. I ain't having to drive a lot of miles, honestly. But yeah, man, a little technical difficulties, man. But yeah, man, I've been driving less miles, making a, a lot more money. Like, I'm getting the bang for my book, man. So yeah, man. And you know, I did a couple of applications. I did an application for AAA Cooper and um, Shoreline. And I did trans, trans, transport, what it is, transforce, something like that, some, it's three local companies, and they called me back like this, like, application went to 90%, they called me back, asked me when can I set up orientation, when can I start, you know, I ain't got with them, but you know, uh, Sureline is $30 an hour, it's paid, you still getting, like, I guess you getting a per miles per load, but you're only going out so far. He said the average driver make about two hundred and forty to two hundred sixty dollars a night, so I don't know about that one. I'm not really just feeling like okay. Triple A Cooper Star, they drives out for thirty five dollars an hour. It's um eight to twelve hour shifts, so you know, man, it, it just I don't know, man. I did application. I was mad one day. I was like, man, for I, for what I'm making now, I could be at home every day enjoying my kids. For y'all that don't know, I got three kids and a wife and a dog, so you know. I can't afford to waste my time out here on the road. I can be at home enjoying them. But yeah, man, um, I don't know, man. Who knows what the future holds? But I can tell y'all this, I enjoy trekking. I'm three years in, man. I don't know everything. I ain't afraid to say that. So, you know.
know, if you ever see me mad and I'm doing something wrong or you you see a way you can help me, help me. And then let me know what you did help me. I ain't one of the ones that don't tell you I don't need no help knowing I need it. I love when somebody helps me bag in. I don't care how big. It can be an open Walmart parking lot. If you want to get out and tell me, then right here, come on with it. I'm not, I got it now. Come on with it. I love that guy. I love that help, man. Ain't nothing like that help. I pulled up in the truck stop late one night. I'm swerving the thing, boy. You do your best drive. But yeah, man, I'm swerving the thing, man. And you know you do your best drive late at night. Man, like you turn that thing in that little tight, that little tight alley space, man, up in the truck stop. Put that thing to, to my side, the driver's side, so I can see. The driver got out of the truck, he was helping me. I was happy with him because I'm, I'm, all, I'm half asleep. I need the help. Man, I whipped that thing up by the time that brace says, the curve was closed, I was in the bed snoring. Rough. It, be, it get rough out here, dawg. It get rough out here, dawg. It get rough out here. But yeah, man, ain't too much of that going on this week, man. I, like I say, man, people, out, they ask me, man, what's going on in Prime? Man, what they doing? I said, man, less money, more hiring, or you can put it less freight, more hiring. Either, either or, whichever one you choose to go with. But that was good. That's what's going on in Prime, man. It's less freight, but they still doing a lot of hiring. I don't, I don't understand it. I guess it ain't for me to understand. But yeah, um, ain't too much in that going on for real, for real, man. It's been a sweet week. I really can't complain. That's why I'm making a vlog, and I'm not even really gonna dog out nothing going on in Prime because I have no reason to this week anyway. You know, trucking is a week-to-week -week basis, so I can't, I, you can't just grade a trucking company because you had one good week. Because you can have one good week, one some of your trucking company, and five bad weeks on road. So you don't, don't think and call the truck company good because you get one check. You gotta, you gotta be consistent. You gotta go six months. Cause I remember when I cut started prime two years ago. I got a total of three years in on truck. Now truck drivers said, man, prime, what prime do? first start your first year they let you make a lot of money out your first year they take you down and they let the new drivers that they have make all the money i'm starting to believe that dog because the new the new drivers that i talked to they gross is six to seven thousand dollars so i wonder what they revenue gonna go down to after a year it's crazy out here man like i don't know man it's so crazy and tricking right now man i don't know if i'm going to come but i'm gonna keep on trucking though but um Man, it gets so ugly out here, man. Man, it got so bad out here, man. Whenever they send me a load, it can be 260 miles. As long as it's paying over 800 all I'm taking. Then it got so bad out here, dog. My partner called somebody on the phone. He got his own truck. He called a broker. The load, the broker, was trying to get him $900 for a load going 900 miles. They argued because the broker telling him, the load not 900 miles, 800. Dude, my partner tell him it's 900, man. I'm looking at it. I'm putting in my GPS. He like, it's 800 according to my, my partner just hung up in the face. He just would let me just see how bad it is. Like, a load going for 900, going 900 miles for 900 dollars. Bro, that's absolutely insane, ridiculous. That's crazy, man. So don't even ask me about being the owner operator right now unless I'm driving a dump truck. Other than that, y'all can have the owner operator, man. You tear your truck up, you ain't even making enough money to fix the alternate on the truck, man. Or the starter. You can't you ain't making enough money to put a new start on your truck, tear your truck up out here to my own operator. If you're on the operator right now, man, I don't know what to tell you, dawg. It's so ugly. Like, I don't know what to tell y'all, man. But I ain't gonna lie, I'm still enjoying Prime, man. Like I say, man, Prime's still a good company, man. Despite what's going on, I can't blame Prime because it's going on everywhere. So Prime's still a good company, man. I wish they benefit were better to the lease driver. The company driver got great benefit. The lease driver got trash benefit. And what they tried to compare the lease driver's benefits to was Obamacare. You weren't fooling me with that. You weren't fooling me with my always up there with Obamacare. Man, I don't want to hear that, man. I don't want to hear that. That's the first thing they tell you or tell you when they going on the benefit. All the, all the benefits are top tier. They up there with Obamacare. Obamacare, man, come on, man. Come on, man. Who y'all think y'all fooling? For real, for real, now. I 
want to tell everybody this year, man. You got to get out and vote, man. I'm putting Trump up in that thing, dog. Please, y'all forgive me, man. They my right to vote. But if I vote, I'm voting Trump. When Trump was in office, man, the economy was booming. He wasn't getting no money to nobody but the United States. Man, Biden gave everybody money but the United States. Man, I ain't got time for that, man. Biden ain't stunning the truck industry. If you're a truck driver, somebody you vote for Biden, I don't know what to tell you, man. That man ain't stunning the truck industry, man. I think every truck driver need a ten thousand dollar um a ten thousand dollar um check from the United States. Every truck driver in the United States need to get at least a check for five to ten thousand dollars. A stimulus check for truck driver, but that's what they need. You got a CDL on your license, and you drove truck, you, you qualify for a five to ten thousand dollar um check. That's what they need to get. That'll stimulate the country. Now that'll stimulate the country, and we are gonna spend it everywhere because we travel all for they state. But yeah, man, it's ugly like hell, man. I'm telling y'all, man, I'm voting Trump, dog. Man. Please forgive me. Please don't follow me, man. In my right to vote, if you vote Biden. I ain't mad, made the best man win, but if Biden win, I ain't got nothing bad to say about it. But I know one thing, when Trump was in the office, the country was boom. But yeah, man, this your boy Trucker B, man. I just had to check in with a quick video, man, quick vlog, man. Let y'all know your boy still out here trucking. Oh, yeah, I got my question. For any prime driver, it's not just prime driver. If you work for any trucking company and you see me, I got some questions I want to ask you in the course of an interview that I want to record. And I just got some questions I want to ask y'all. I'm not going to tell you the question, but if you see me and you're willing to do the interview, please let me know. But yeah, man, until next time, y'all keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and share this video, man. It's your boy, Trucker B. Deuces.